Ananda's Tryst with Women Ananda was born in Kapilavathu and was the Buddha's cousin, being the son of Amitadana, the brother of the Buddha's father, Sadhadana. One of the early disciples who joined the Sangha was Ananda. He was a just a child then. It was said that he became a monk together with his brother Anirudh, cousin Devadatta, and Bhadra. Initially, when the four Sakyas princes became monks, Ananda was the youngest of all. Besides being a cousin of the Buddha, Ananda was also one of his ten principal disciples, lifelong friend, and personal attendant. He was always with the Buddha and heard every talk the Buddha gave. He had a near-perfect memory. Almost all the talks we have from the Buddha, we have is recited by Ananda at the first Buddhist council shortly after the Buddha's bodily death. Most of the texts of the early Buddhist Satipatthaka are attributed to his recollection of the Buddha's teachings during the first Buddhist council. Trouble with Females Actually, Ananda had no thoughts of love nor desire for women, but only pure friendship. However, because of women, he encountered a lot of problems, thereby causing jealousy and criticisms. To encounter with Mithunga. Ananda was young and handsome, and this caused him some trouble. One day, he begged in Travasti, and on the way back he saw a well. A peasant girl was getting water from the well. Ananda was thirsty, so he asked the girl to give him some water. The girl recognized the young bhikkhu in front of her was Ananda. Very shyly, she said, Venerable, I am a lowly peasant who is not fit to offer you anything. When Ananda heard this, he consoled her, Young lady. I am a bhikkhu, and I am equal towards the rich and poor. The girl was deeply attracted by Ananda's looks and his gentle speech. She even dreamed of marrying him. In actual fact, young Ananda could not forget the young lady too. Next day, when he passed by her house, the girl smiled and acknowledged him. Ananda began to feel confused. However, at the moment he remembered he was the bhikkhu who had to abide by the precepts, he thought of Buddha, his power engulfed him. Ananda suddenly found wisdom, as if the Buddha had turned into a gust of wind to guide him back to the Jetavana monastery. On the second day, Ananda calmed himself then went to the city to beg. The young girl wore a new dress and had a new hairdo. She stood on the road waiting for Ananda. When she saw him, she followed him and refused to let him go. Ananda was nervous and helpless. He returned to the monastery and told the Buddha everything. The Buddha then told him to bring the girl to him. When the girl heard that Buddha wanted to see her, she was shocked, but in order to get Ananda, she picked up courage to see the Buddha. Upon seeing her, Buddha said, Ananda is a practicing monk. To be his wife you need to leave home and be a bhikkhuni for a year. Are you willing? I am willing, Lord Buddha. The girl was surprised that the Buddha had so easily made her wish come true, so she answered very quickly. According to my system, leaving home needs approval from parents. Can you get your parents to approve of it? The Buddha did not make things difficult for her. His conditions were not impossible and the girl immediately went home to fetch her mother. Her mother very happily agreed to let her daughter become a bhikkhuni first before marrying Ananda. In order to be Ananda's wife, the girl very happily shaved her hair to become a bhikkhuni. She listened to Buddha's preachings very enthusiastically and practiced according to Buddha's guidance. Her desires and emotions calmed down after each passing day and in less than half a year, she realized that in the past her pursuits for love was a shameful behavior. The girl realized her obsession with Ananda was unclean and bad. 
She regretted and one day, she knelt in front of Buddha and tearfully repented, Buddha. I am awake now, I will not be ignorant like I used to be. I am very grateful to you. In order to convert ignorant sentient beings like us, you have put in so much effort to think of various ways. From now on, I am going to be a bhikkhuni forever, follow Buddha's footsteps to be a messenger of truth. Buddha's earnest teachings had finally awakened her to become a model bhikkhuni. This girl was the well-known Mithanga. In allowing a peasant girl to be a bhikkhuni, Buddha received a lot of criticism and opposition from people as the caste system was prevalent at that time. However, Buddha advocated equality of the four castes. The incidents of Mithanga's attraction to Ananda's looks and the turning of misfortune into happiness had become a matter of great interest in the Buddhist community and a charming story through the ages, while serving a sick woman. Ananda was helpful towards bhikkhunis. As he could get along well with people, all women, especially bhikkhunis, had deep respect for him. Sometimes when he walked with Maha Kasapa, bhikkhunis usually asked for Ananda's advice before they asked Maha Kasapa, though Maha Kasapa was more senior than Ananda in terms of knowledge, experience, and age. In the Jetavana Monastery, there lived a young female bhikkhuni. She was deeply attracted by Ananda's outstanding features and grace and loved him secretly. However, living in the strict Buddhist community, she was not allowed to break the precepts, so she felt helpless and frustrated. One day, this young bhikkhuni fell sick and she asked someone to pass a message to Ananda asking him to visit her. Next morning, before he went to beg for food, the kind Ananda went to visit the bhikkhuni. However, she was half-dressed and when Ananda walked near her, she looked at him with deep love. Ananda immediately understood and without uttering a single word, he turned and walked away. The young bikini quickly got up from bed, dressed and rushed after Ananda. She invited Ananda to sit down. When Ananda sat down, he said, Sister, do not use unclean things to feed your body. Do not have incorrect thoughts of sexual desire. Sister, you are unwell. As long as you put your body and mind in an undemanding state, you will soon recover. However, the young bikini still looked at Ananda with tenderness and love. She said, I understand what you mean, but no matter how hard I try, I can't control my feeling for you. People, in order to feel protected and peaceful, cannot be without demands. Sister, you must not think this way. People work for clothes, food, and shelter for cultivation of body. To cultivate a healthy body is to practice the way, then the mind can be peaceful. To forget the path, but instead pursue the impermanent desire is incorrect. We cultivate our body and mind, cut off all desires to pursue the true path and not be lured by void and empty ways. The bikini was deeply touched and put off her desire for love. She received the Dharma eyes. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your patience. Raj Rishi while serving a sick woman.